Welcome to the 2021 Introduction and Background of Brazil, Compliments of the World Factbook from CIA. Gov. English learners can improve their English listening and reading comprehension by viewing this video, reading the text, and listening to the audio. Following more than three centuries under Portuguese rule, Brazil gained its independence in 1822, maintaining a monarchical system of government until the abolition of slavery in 1888 and the subsequent proclamation of a republic by the military in 1889. Brazilian coffee exporters politically dominated the country until populist leader Getúlio Vargas rose to power in 1930. By far the largest and most populous country in South America. Brazil underwent more than a half century of populist and military government until 1985, when the military regime peacefully ceded power to civilian rulers. Brazil continues to pursue industrial and agricultural growth and development of its interior. Having successfully weathered a period of global financial difficulty in the late 20th century, Brazil was seen as one of the world's strongest emerging markets and a contributor to global growth. The awarding of the 2014 FIFA World Cup and 2016 Summer Olympic Games, the first ever to be held in South America, was seen as symbolic of the country's rise. However, from about 2013 to 2016, Brazil was plagued by a sagging economy, high unemployment, and high inflation, only emerging from recession in 2017. Former President Juma Rousseff, 2011-2016 was removed from office in 2016 by Congress for having committed impeachable acts against Brazil's budgetary laws, and her vice president, Michel Temer, served the remainder of her second term. In October 2018, Jair Bolsonaro won the presidency with 55 percent of the vote and assumed office on January 1, 2019. Economy Brazil is the eighth-largest economy in the world but is recovering from a recession in 2015 and 2016 that ranks as the worst in the country's history. In 2017, Brazil's GDP grew 1%, inflation fell to historic lows of 2.9%, and the central bank lowered benchmark interest rates from 13.75% in 2016 to 7%. The economy has been negatively affected by multiple corruption scandals involving private companies and government officials, including the impeachment and conviction of former President Juma Rousseff in August 2016. Sanctions against the firms involved, some of the largest in Brazil, have limited their business opportunities, producing a ripple effect on associated businesses and contractors but creating opportunities for foreign companies to step into what had been a closed market. The succeeding Temer administration has implemented a series of fiscal and structural reforms to restore credibility to government finances. Congress approved legislation in December 2016 to cap public spending. Thank you for learning about Brazil. What other countries do you want to learn about?